So what the hell is Sebastian, <laughs> the Caribbean dreadlock, lobster, crustacean, whatever he is, yeah? What's he doing in, in Denmark? <laughs> her red lips and her red hair and she's got little clams on her boobies and stuff like that. I see what you remembered about her, Sophia. No, but... <laughs> the lions, monkeys, frogs and fish, okay? So I'm still waiting for like... Just a human to exist. Yeah. Asalaamu As Alaikum guys, what's going on? My name's Sufyan. My name's Amara. We are the exes and it's happened again. White erasion. Crossing the nation. This knee, that knee. <laughs> <sighs> so Disney have only gone and released a teaser for The Little Mermaid. And guess what? There's sneaky little devils. And <gasps> they knew what they were doing as well because Ariel sings and she goes, da, 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 And she comes through the coral and then it's like her shadow and it's like you see a glance, you're like, oh. <laughs> Did they do that? Did they have it like yeah, tucked in? I'm not there was a lot of light on her arms there. <laughs> she wasn't looking bright. Oh, who is they she going to meet? She swims out and she's brown, black. How dare they? <laughs> so people are outraged. Not everybody, but a significant number of people. 1.5 million people disliked the video on um, YouTube and the dislike button has now been taken off so nobody can see because people are angry. Right, you saw. <laughs> Hashtag not my area. Go woke, go broke. Disney, you should have known better. You should have known better. Sofian said to me, You heard about Little Mermaid? I'm like, What do you mean? There's a trailer out and people are angry. There's videos of the kids and their reactions. I'm like, The kids are angry at Ariel. He's like, No, the adults. I was like, What? <laughs> what is going on? So apparently, there's loads of black girls and they're so happy. I'm telling they're you, so man. excited. I'm not seeing it yet, but I'm excited. Okay. be mad at that. That is hella cute. So I know what you're thinking, two brown people, obviously it's Team Ariel, more of that, more of this, yeah. We're obviously leaning to one side. The brown side. <laughs> <laughs> but no, when we approach topics like this, we must ask, are these questions reasonable? Do they stand up to the test of logic, rationale, and reason? So let us put our rational hats on. This is my rational curl. And we'll put this argument to the test of reason. Just don't expect us just to lean to the black side and lean to the brown side. What? Do you think I'm, do you, do, does that, we are educators, and educators find the truth at the bottom of everything. The white truth. <laughs> okay, so the question is, is this racist? Is it racist? Yes. You think? Yeah, I'll, t I'll tell you a quote. So you tell me if this is racist, okay? Right. Loads of fans filled with rage have said that the character is no longer a sexy, aquatic, Caucasian redhead and have been celebrating an AI artist who has been whitening that poor girl. They've been whitening her skin and people have been getting excited about it. Oh, Is that racist, Sophia? Oh. A sexy redhead Caucasian. That's what the people it want. Does, it doesn't read well. <laughs> All we're gonna do is uh, go through the points that people are bringing up and then we'll find out, yeah. Let's get to the bottom of it. Let's get to the bottom of whether it's racist or not. Although we've got a biased person on this side. But me, rational, unbiased. All right, so the first objection, people have said that this retelling of uh, Black Ariel deviates from the original source material, okay? <laughs> but did you know, did you know that Little Mermaid is actually based on a Danish fairy tale? Danish, we'll come back to that. She cuts out her tongue in exchange for feet that bleed constantly when she's on the land. So wait, rubbish. wait, wait. It ends up with her dissolving into sea form after she considers stabbing Prince Eric and his new wife to death. <laughs> And in Anderson's story, she also has green skin. Oh. She's like She-Hulk. Yeah. <laughs> She-Hulk of the sea. So... If you want to be true to the authentic tale... Well, to be honest, I'm colorblind, so brown and green look the same to me. So high five for the brown casting. <laughs> One point solved, okay. Second point, Amara. We are all about um, history and being historically accurate, okay? So people have complained that, I know it's a fairy tale, it's yes. a made up story, but this is set in Denmark, okay? So Little Mermaid is set in Denmark. Danish people at that time were white. So fair do if it's set in Denmark, the people of Denmark in the story of The Little Mermaid should represent the people of Denmark who are probably Caucasian. Cock-cock-cock-cock-cock-cock-cock-cock-cock-cock-cock-cock-cock-cock-cock-cock-cock-cock-cock-cock-cock-cock-cock-cock-cock-cock-cock-cock-cock-cock-cock-cock-cock-
right. Well, well, if you went to Jamaica and all the fish are Jamaican, let's say we're going along with this. Okay. So what the hell is Sebastian, <laughs> the Caribbean dreadlock, lobster, crustacean, whatever he is, yeah? What's he doing in, in Denmark? <laughs> what boat is it? What? <laughs> Why is so outraged that Ariel should be <laughs> white redhead? But Sebastian's all right to come in with his Yardi accent. Yeah? They're so angry about Ariel being black, but they still want Sebastian to stay black. Yeah, right. they, they want him to stay black. Because he's the dance, he's the dance, <laughs> dance monkey boy. He's dance, the entertainment yeah. of the show. Don't worry, it's not that. <laughs> So weird. Ariel has to stay authentically Caucasian as per the Denmark people, but the crab has traveled across the seas. Yeah, yeah, he's found a home with the Danish. Yes, because there's, there's no problem with his immigration. <laughs> That's three points that actually don't make any sense. Next, just as Amara pointed out, mermaids are not real. This point makes me so angry. Mermaids aren't real. Ariel's not real. It's not like this is being based on somebody's real life where you have a right to be so passionate about what that person looks Objection. like. Objection. I actually believe in mermaids. I'm conspiracy okay. guy, all right? <laughs> I made the point I and I was like, like right, wait. I... No, that's too messy, Sophia. I just want to say a side note. I believe my mates might be real somewhere in a galaxy, maybe in the past. Maybe okay. hiding in the sea. And for this thing, no, they're fantasy, no, 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 right? No, no, no. Or... Mermaids aren't real. People getting angry about this mythical creature that is underwater singing to animals. None of this is real. <laughs> None of this is real and people are so angry. She's magical. <laughs> so, so She's got magical powers under the water singing to sea creatures. Was... Historical accuracy. Also, if you want to go into historical geographical accuracy, apparently, according to a marine biologist, I don't even think she had glasses on, so that's rude. <laughs> <laughs> according to a marine biologist, she says that the animals at the top of the sea actually blend in with the color of the water so they can't be seen by humans. So they're like bluey and uh, see-through. Okay, yeah. And she goes, as you go d deeper into the depths of the sea, yeah. depths of this ocean. Where you'd find something like a mermaid. Where you'd find something mythical like a mermaid. <laughs> yeah. She said that they tend to be brown and black because they're the colour of the sea down there so they don't get spotted. So historical ac accuracy, accuracy. <laughs> would mean that she's brown or black. Haha -ha, people! This sounds like a biased story. <laughs> but a Caucasian person at the bottom of the sea would actually be a bright light and actually alert people to where the fish is and that fish would get caught. So it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. No camouflage. Geographically, <laughs> biologically, or environmentally, <laughs> I run out of words. I was saying tomorrow, yeah, so I'm down with all of the Danish family, it doesn't make sense, yada, 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 yeah. I was saying it would make more sense if people were outraged, like, let's Google and find out who the, um, who the prince is. Yeah. Because if the prince is black, if you want to argue for historical accuracy, then fair enough, isn't it, yeah? Because he's a human. Because he's a human, and we Googled it, it's just, so he's white. <laughs> Eric was Caucasian and so, he's being played by a Caucasian and that's okay. That's true to the historical accuracy because he's a human. So he's white? Yeah. He fell in love with an exotic sea creature. Exotic sea <laughs> creature. <laughs> As Amara quite rightly pointed out, Ariel's not a real person. I can see where people are coming from. I can see where people are coming from and I'll tell you why in a minute, yeah? But changing the ethnicity of a fictional fantasy character such as the Little Mermaid, her being white isn't integral to the story of Not Little Mermaid. She just so happens that she's white and I get this iconic image of her uh, Ariel with her red lips and her red hair and she's got little clams on her boobies and stuff like that. I see what you remembered about her, Sophia. No, <laughs> Inshallah, in this version of uh, Little Mermaid, she covers her aura. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she did. <laughs> So changing the ethnicity of her is not that, it's not that bad, you get mm. me? Yes, it's not like you've taken Martin Luther King yeah. and changed the ethnicity and cast him as a white person. Yeah, that would be <laughs> really bad, that would be so bad. Yeah, insert list of movies in which this has happened. It's kind of hard to put up an argument about that when it happens all the time anyway, yeah? Yeah, a lot of Caucasian people, I keep saying Caucasian to be safe, have said that this is white Asian. Is that uh, ethnicity? Uh, white or Asian. <laughs> What's the difference, yeah? There, there was an argument that said, why does Disney not just create a black princess? Make a new black princess, instead of changing the old one, and just make a new story, make a new princess, surely that would be better, instead of saying that, oh, well, you know, the black characters didn't have any real presence here, we'll just change that one and just change the color of it. 
I get that, but I also think that there must be, I'm not that attached to the Little Mermaid story at all, right? Say I was, and I'd only ever seen a white Little Mermaid, a white Ariel, then when I'm older, I would love to see a retelling of it with a brown girl or a black girl. So those people, there are black girls that, that must love watching, although they could have a new princess and stuff, maybe they love her songs and love that she was a mermaid and love who Ariel was, and they would like to see Ariel like them. I'm a gay man, yeah, so I used to- I was say I'm a gay man. <laughs> a bit late to tell you that, innit? <laughs> PlayStation Gamer. I play a game called The Witcher. Now, you know The Witcher, the series has come out on Netflix. One of the characters in Witcher is called Triss. Now, Triss is a white girl with red hair, like really red. She's like Ariel without fins. Okay. When Witcher came out, I was gassed, obviously. Geralt was there and I, I thought, yeah, he looks good. Yennefer looks a bit like, he looks enough like Yennefer. And then Triss came out and Triss was uh, played by a, she was light skinned, she was something anyway, yeah. yeah. She was from an ethnic background. And when I saw her, I was like, that's not Triss. Mm -hmm. You know, you're waiting to see someone who plays the role and I was like, well, that's not Triss. Watching the show, I struggled to connect to her so yeah. far because she didn't look like the version that I've been playing for years on the, on the game. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a similar argument to that, obviously, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I struggled to connect with her because it wasn't that. You suffered from white erasion. I suffered from white erasion, yes. <laughs> I'm a victim. However, people that watched Witcher without playing the game, they don't know Triss yeah. as the girl from the Witcher game. They're just watching this new story. Yeah, they just accept You just that. accept it yeah. as this, okay, and, and I can accept, okay, this is a retelling. And once you accept that and you just kind of get into it, and it's a new character. It's Triss, yeah, this is Triss, but it's not that Triss. Yeah. It's this Triss. Yeah. And I think this Ariel one's a bit similar to that, yeah? As in, look, it's a little mermaid, and everyone sees it and thinks, well, that's not Ariel. Yeah, but then you just adjust and you just no, get that's over it. No, that's the point, yeah. The kids that are watching it for the first time, they'll be like, oh, it's a mermaid. Yeah, they don't care. Kids do not care, as in you can, don't that kid could know. have grown up on the cartoon of the little white Ariel with her red hair, and maybe with red storybooks, and as soon as they see Ariel looking brown or black, the most the kid will be is like, oh, looks different. Then they get over it, they're yeah, singing with yeah. her and they do not care. Yeah, yeah. It is crazy <laughs> to me that adults are so mad. That just doesn't, because adults are old enough to understand why, first of all, it's important to have the black representation, the brown representation they understand okay yeah um they're actually really underrepresented in a lot of industries yeah. so uh, let me just shut up and just like even though i feel like oh it doesn't look like the same let me just be quiet makes me crazy okay. like people are saying black people have been underrepresented so it's yeah. okay to change these characters to those characters give now. them more opportunities more, and things yeah give them more opportunities somebody says well why don't you just make a new princess yeah oh uh, yeah which, you can. which is an equal yeah which is an equally fair argument right the, the reason that it's not so straightforward yeah basically it's important to know how the people, how these people of colour ended up integrating in the lands and mixing with the land. So basically you went to Africa, you stole a lot of people, you yeah. turned them into slaves, <laughs> yeah. tortured them, did all of that. Then we've managed to get free. Now we're a part of this society. And now people are deciding that, oh, do you know what? I'll, I'll change some of these characters to black people to kind of set it right. Yeah. Because yeah. the fact is, really, we shouldn't have been here as slaves. So if we weren't here as slaves, if we were just here for some kind of other reason, then maybe we would have just been in, we would have been a black guy in the film. But because it didn't happen naturally like that, yeah. because of the way it's happened, now you have to change things. So, so instead of it just being like, why don't you just make some new characters? They're saying, well, no, let's fix some of the stuff that happened. That is there. such a good point. That is so true. Me and Sophia had discussions about this, right? So much injustice has been done. Shouldn't there be some reparations, some fixing, some trying to correct things rather than just being like, okay, let's just continue on as normal now. And I feel like the people that are outraged are just like, let's continue on as normal slash don't exist. And what you're saying is true. It, it, it could be a form of like trying to correct deep back a lot of things that there was no representation back then but, it, but there should have been so we're talking about something that never happened and yeah. so maybe if there were people back there maybe some of the disney princesses if there were black people in society in a normal manner we would have been told as princes and princesses because obviously originally this wasn't our land we're not yeah. from here innit? so but maybe it would have been a, been a bit different but now what's happening is people trying to correct that by changing characters the question is though is it necessary is it necessary right to change that character Ariel, for instance. I mean, there's no harm in it, but is it necessary? Or is it genius? I think it's a marketing strategy. I didn't even think about that point it's until a you said that. It's a, mar it's, a mar it's a marketing strategy. It's not that, oh, look, we're going to set it straight. The point is, yeah, if they cast Ariel as a white girl, nobody would have complained. Who would have complained? Yeah, but Disney... Who, nobody would have complained, bro. Yeah. Disney have had issues a lot in the past. Just the past. 
with <laughs> racism and I'm not saying that they're racist now I'm saying that there's a lot of that rooted in that company anyway even now they're making things like you know Mexican families and Spanish families and Chinese okay, families yeah, yeah. you can say that's all marketing strategies oh you're just doing that to appease you're just doing that to appease but it's not what everybody's doing and no. at least you've got some inclusivity and at least people are seeing themselves you, they're yeah, just yeah. looking for money at the end of the day yeah, they are, they they're are, not doing it because they, they feel good in no, their they're heart they're definitely not doing it there goes your sponsorship <laughs> <laughs> it's getting really hot this is like the third time that um, like a black girl or black people have been cast as main characters in Disney. Yeah? Oh, so many. First one, Lion King, right? And yes, I'm counting as Lion King. They were from Africa. They were lions. Nobody mind or Rafiki saying, ah, it doesn't That's matter. True. It's in the past. Yeah. First time they cast us as animals and lions. Second time, Princess and the Frog. Okay. Yeah. Did you know, side note, Tiana yeah. was on screen for 40 minutes, yeah. right? Out of that 40 minutes of the film, 17 of them she spent as human and 23 she spent as a frog. Now, we're fish, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> for all the princesses and all the stories, the lions, monkeys, frogs and fish, okay? So I'm still waiting for like- Just a human to exist. Yeah, I'm still trying to be human. You may stay human and exist. <laughs> That's so bad, I never even thought about that. That is a great point. Oh, yeah, it. Fucks, fucks, fucks. The last thing is, yeah, do you know what a mermaid is? A mermaid is a mythical creature, right? Which is very well documented in all of these historical texts, right? It's called a siren. Do you know about sirens? It's dark right? stuff. It's like a sea creature which takes the form of a woman mm. and sings a very beautiful song to lure men in, yeah. to take their treasure and kill them, yeah. right? <laughs> so, you know, don't be giving it all that energy. I mean, it's nice and that, but mermaids ain't all that anyway. Yeah, fight to just be a princess or something. Yeah, let's just, let's just get a story where we're a princess, yeah. Staying human. Yeah. <laughs> Full 60 minutes, <laughs> like, stay human. So the question is, is it racist? Yeah, no. Yeah, and no. I'd look at that and say, that's not aerial. But I wouldn't say, it's not my aerial. Go woke, go broke. That's like a bit of an extreme reaction. It's so extreme. That's a bit what of an extreme have disliked the video. Oh, yeah, You're yeah. that mad. You always get racist people and you always get a few people that are like, uh, uh, uh. but I'm surprised how many people are outraged. That's just, that's just crazy to me. <laughs> and the little girls that are watching it and they're so yeah, yeah, happy. Yeah. You can't watch the girls reacting and- No, not, your heart yeah. melts. Well, you can if you're racist. And how telling is it that that's the way that they actually reacted? Yeah, oh, no. I'm sure a few of them was like, hey baby, listen, you need to react for the gram right yeah, now. Yeah, a couple of when them look like on, that. You hold your eyes and cry, you know? She's like, mommy, I don't want to. You know what you hold your eyes. <laughs> do you want to be a frog again? <laughs> it means Actually, so no. much yeah, to them. How do you take that? Representation matters, yeah. It does. We've made it to the fish. Fish. Right. Still got a way to go. Oh, you're half human. It's not great though, is it? Everyone loves Ariel. Ariel's like the most fa one of the most famous ones. And listen, <laughs> if you're mad about Ariel, not being white. You keep the same energy for Sebastian, okay? No, no, they'd have to cast him as somebody else first. I hope that they recast Sebastian as like an Italian guy. Like that, yeah. I'm gonna lose my nuts. <laughs> I am. <laughs> anyway, that's our thoughts. She says it's racist. I, I say it's part racist. racist. It's not that deep. It it's is kind of deep at the same time, but it's not that deep. You know how deep it is? It's but under the sea. It's so inappropriate, what, that's all. Darling, it's better. Done where it's wetter. Take it that. from me. Take it from Sebastian me. says that. That's yeah. so inappropriate. Yeah, don't, don't make him Italian. Leave him as a Jamaican because my man got game. <laughs> <laughs> Sebastian knows what he's doing, just like Disney knew what they were doing. Marketing scheme. Sound like one.